Hey guys, it's been a while since we last seen each other. How you guys doing? Hope it's going well. Recently I've had a lot of trouble uploading videos to YouTube and I've noticed it's usually when I use a particular editing software, in this case Final Cut Pro. It's not working. I don't know why. So unfortunately I've had to resort back to... Oh, I... I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just had to. So, there were a couple of videos that I was dying for you guys to see, one being a Halloween short called Psychological, another one being a Jurassic Park 4 news update, which I worked really hard on with my friend Jenna, and it's just not working, so I gotta figure out a way to rectify the situation. So, going back to a webcam that I haven't used since probably the Victorian era, <laughs> um, well... I hate this webcam so much. It's such poor quality. Oh, this hurts me a lot. But I figured, hey, what can I do in the meantime? Look back on old videos that I did? Let's do a commentary on the videos that I've done when I first started YouTube. All the way back to 2007. I think we will learn a lot. Alright, so here we go. We're checking out the first video I ever put on YouTube. A Mesozoic Island teaser trailer. <laughs> you can hear the terrible sound effects. And in the backgrounds, you can also hear that I was attempting to build some sort of tension with the pounding footsteps, but it didn't work out. And oh god, the grammar in this trailer. <laughs> I actually made this when I was 13 years old, when the same day that I received my first laptop, which was a Windows platform. So I made this in Windows Movie Maker. You can see the cheesy effects that I placed into this. I definitely wouldn't recommend a Windows if you're if you're if you're trying to do this kind of stuff. Once I received a MacBook, my material started drastically improving. 2007, yeah, right. <laughs> you can see here that I was trying to seem legitimate by having the Motion Picture Association bumper at the start of the trailer. This trailer is a little better than the first one just because it's more diverse with sound effects and imagery. <laughs> Still images. A lot of people got mad about that. And um, these teaser trailers were torn apart with negative reviews, which I can see why. I mean, it's not that like these are any good. These trailers were actually inspired by the Jurassic Park 3 teaser trailer that was released in 2000, which is basically the camera running through the jungle, so you can kind of see those types of motifs in these trailers, but not that that tra teaser trailer was any good, but <laughs> I, I tried to make it good with this one, but it didn't work out. You know, it seemed initially that people thought that this was a cheap effort to capitalize off of Jurassic Park, which I find hysterical that people would think this is a quality of ripoff. I think this is actually below quality. Um, besides the excellent animations that were made by the man that designed these models. This is me literally running around my park in Brooklyn, New York, trying to make it look like a tropical jungle. <laughs> it's quite funny. At least there's music in this one. This is definitely the best one just because this is the most diverse one. Not that it's good, but, you know, an old logo. <laughs> oh god, in a Sai Pao voice, which I thought was really innovative at the time and thought this would be so awesome to incorporate, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Coming soon, yeah. Yeah, sure, Anthony. More sound effects. Let's see, is there anything else to talk about this? So, the now defunct website on Pixo, which I haven't used in a while. For those of you wondering, uh, Mesozoic Island has had this enormous transformation. That, I mean, the plot is a total 180 of what it was initially. I mean, what we're striving for with Mesozoic Island is to do something that really hasn't been done before, is completely new. 
and what we have right now is really great and we're all really excited about it. Now, the main reason why I made a commentary this time was not only because I couldn't get videos on YouTube with all these issues, but also for this to symbolize the the end of the old stuff and the beginning of the new stuff that I want to add to the channel. I'm sure all tens of you are <laughs> wondering what that change is going to be. Well, if you've been following the channel, you notice that it's been basically the same thing over the last five years. There's really a need to put some changes into effect and make the channel more diverse. So a couple of ways we're thinking of doing that are adding possibly a review show, comedy skits, also getting Mesozoic Island to you guys. So these alterations should be taking place over the next few months. We just got to get these issues rectified with YouTube. But in closing, I would just like to thank you guys so much for supporting me over these last five years. And my crew also thanks you. We cannot, honestly, we cannot thank you enough. You've put up with all these delays and you guys are literally the best. And obviously the only reason why we keep doing this. So we only ask that you continue to stay tuned and we'll get these materials to you ASAP. Okay then, I'll see you guys later. Take care.